Let me just quickly show you what I bought. So clean groceries haul. Good morning, my bae. Look, look, I love this sweater, jumper, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want to edit the 2015 uh, travel video today. So excited for that one. So first, I'm going to select all the clips or all the moments I want in the 2015 video. I am I thought like one year of travels in one minute would be a cute um, idea to structure all the... Um, all the clips. Oh my gosh, I have just too much. I need to clean up my library too. All right, so this is the first vlog I've imported and it's travel vlog three. So let's import number one. Let me see, unicorn, uh, travel vlogs. Let's go to number one, import because this one definitely needs to be in it. I was so scared leaving. All right, I've been working on it for an hour, an hour and a half. This is what I got until now. So, wait, oh, the headphones are in. So, let me show you what I got. Three, I love this moment. <laughs> So, I have a storyline in my head, like what I want to tell you, what I learned in 2015, so, ah, I love this, it makes me so happy seeing all these moments, and I honestly, genuinely don't know how 2016 is going to top this, but it is, I just feel it in my gut, 2016 is going to top 2015. 15 but um yeah it's been a great year now i'm hungry actually and luckily i have some left evas left evas i have some leftover quinoa tada got it right here and some leftover dough yes got that too let's heat it up no so this is just quinoa and some dough all clean all good, all healthy. Oh my gosh, it's finished and I can't. I saw it for 10 times already. I just love it so much. I hope you guys will like it too. The only thing I'm really bummed out about is that some of my favorite shots are so grainy because of the poor camera quality. I'm so happy with this camera right now. I have to go grocery shopping. I've been trying to do that for three days already. <laughs> I just don't do it. I have different priorities than having food in my house. So yeah, got my bag. Let's take some plastic bags with me because nope, I don't buy any plastic bags at the store. I always take my own bags. In the radio for the win. And I am back. Let me just quickly show you what I bought. So clean groceries haul. Um, look at this. I use these plastic bags so much and they're really really good uh, but I tore up the bottom so that's a good sign I've used them a lot and well let me first show you the canned goods so these are just beans, canned beans, uh, chickpeas also canned, tomato puree, um, lentils, some lentils always nice and then I have some rolls for Stefan because he loves to eat those for breakfast. Uh, some oats for me. Then I have uh, broccoli over here. Some pasta. I haven't eaten pasta in a really, really, really long time. Wheelie. And <laughs> these are whole. Uh, this is whole grain pasta. Um, I notice my body likes it when I eat uh, whole grains once in a while. So that's why I eat rolls. Um, yeah, maybe one or two days in a week and now I thought like maybe I should try some pasta again then I have some uh, some other lentils and um, oven crisps or chips for Stefan as well not really there for Stefan uh, more rolls uh, I have some pesto for the pasta I have some nuts over here so roasted almonds and pecan nuts over here I have some pumpkin. I'm going to be eating pumpkin until they're totally out of season. Also the squash. Um, I have some, I don't know, what is bump natal in? Um, 
Wait, I'll look this one up, then I'll tell you what kind of tea it is. So then I have cucumber, zucchini, uh, some tofu, so good when it's deep fried, some canned tomatoes, oh they should go with the canned goods. And then I have some yogurt, uh, lots of tomatoes, and then um, some lettuce for salad. I used to use spinach for salads because it has more nutritional value, nutritional value, but um, I got so sick of it, I can't eat it anymore. Like even when I, um, when I fry it or something, I'd rather have frozen spinach because the taste is different than fresh spinach. I just, I can't anymore, it's real, I don't know. Uh, also I have an avocado for when I make a salad, goat cheese over here, smoked cheese. Yes, we are in the Netherlands, I love my cheese. That's seriously the biggest reason I don't want to be vegan right now. As you can see, most of my groceries are just plant-based, except for the yogurt and the, and the cheese. Um, yeah, I just can't let go of my cheese, man. I love my cheese. It's, it's maybe a mind switch I need to make, but um, not right now. Anyways, so moving on, this is Kora. What is Kora in English? I don't know. It's also a vegetable. And then um, some eggs, the frozen stuff, um, mangoes, see the frozen spinach, I'm okay with it, and uh, blueberries, another box of mangoes, and that's it, clean grocery haul. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, uh, my biggest source of protein right now are beans. I have beans with almost every meal I eat, or if it's like in the morning, oatmeal has also a lot of protein, mm, yeah. That's how I get my protein, man. Ooh, let me just show you. Stefan just made me popcorn. Thank you, Bay. That's why I wear your name, Bay. My puppy game is strong. Yes, your puppy game is strong, yes. <laughs> bay. That's my, my bay. My game is strong in general. <laughs> yes, your puppy game is strong. My baby. game. Yeah, <laughs> your game. <laughs> Just frying the tofu for the pasta, and just like with the tempeh, the tofu tastes 10,000 times better when you fry it and it has a crispy layer on the outside. So over here, I already have a batch finished, just like in a real cooking show. <laughs> no, just kidding, I just finished this one up and I just wanted to show you like, what it, this is when it's done and then I'm going to use it in the pasta sauce. Just in case you're wondering how is this healthy because you're frying it, well, I don't believe in the old myth that all oil is bad for you. I don't believe that frying is bad for you. I'm using coconut oil to fry this tofu. Uh, you know what I believe is bad for you? Eating too much processed foods, which you did not make, and you have no freaking idea of what's in the package. When I do use things out of a jar of processed foods, I always check the ingredients, and this is just like one E number, and the rest is okay. The rest are no more ingredients that I can use. Oh, Reddit, by the way, has a super funny topic about what the most um, pet, what the biggest pet peeves are of scientists. And one scientist said, like, oh, my biggest pet peeve is people saying, like, if you can't pronounce an ingredient, you shouldn't eat it. And he was like, uh huh. And what about um, monosodium? What's the name for salt? What's the scientific name for salt? Sodium something. So, yeah, you can't pronounce that, so you definitely shouldn't eat it. No, I do not support that rule either. I'm not like. If you can't pronounce it, usually, like, I have trouble pronouncing R things. Things with an R. That doesn't mean I shouldn't eat it, you know? So, um, yeah, I don't believe that. But I, I definitely do believe that, that the ingredients you read on a processed product, um, like, let's just say, like, you should be able to recognize, like, 95% of them as real foods. I almost burned my, oh wait, you can't see it. I almost burned my tofu while talking to you. Now that's unhealthy, but luckily I was just in time. Obviously I do realize that this is such a controversial topic. Everybody has an opinion about it. If you have a different opinion than I do, um, good for you. It, like Cartman said, it's your body. If you can do whatever you want with it. That's perfectly fine. Um, and it's obviously this. This, all of this, <laughs> is my body and I can do whatever I want with my body. So, you know, uh, disclaimer, yada, yada, yada. I'm not a doctor, yada, yada, yada. Alrighty, the food is done. We have the pasta up in here with the pesto tofu sauce. 
and some uh, feta cheese on top. Ooh, this looks so good. I hope it's tasty as well. Stefan said this parent's house, by the way, so that's why I'm eating by myself. I didn't go today because I have some videos to finish up for you. Okay, anyway, enough talking. Let's try it. Delicious. So good. I can highly recommend. So, um, just about my propor portion proportion. Um, I have more sauce, so more tofu than pasta because I still eat more protein than carbs. It's, you know, everybody has to like check for themselves what works and for me it works like if my meal is half protein half carbs I feel best with that combination so you just have to figure out for yourself what works for your body what kind of proportion blah 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 anyways I will have my dinner now I probably should have put in the broccoli or, in, or any other kind of vegetable because this is just pasta and protein carbs and protein yeah probably should do that next time I haven't had any vegetables today or fruits. Well, that sucks. I'll have more vegetables tomorrow. Connected. Oh, I love it. You know what? I'm gonna buy some popcorn because I want to support you. I love this. Okay, everybody, how do you, how do you like this jacket? How you like me now, baby? <laughs>